and we're live. D I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Doug. Doug's got a, a, a poker uh, YouTube channel that I watch a lot. I, uh, I played a ton of poker when I was um, maybe, I guess, 20, 20, like 22 and 25 or something. That's kind of what I did for a living. I played a bunch of cash games. And uh, like in my area, there was a ton of there was two or three cash games that kind of rotated. And it was uh, one and two dollar blinds, which is, is kind of small, but it was no limit because everybody was obsessed with no limit. So the pots would get up to two or three thousand dollars sometimes. And that's sort of what I did and what I loved for a long time. And I used the money that I, I won from that to kind of finance everything that I've done since then. Really, it all started with, uh, you know. 10 or 15 grand. Do that you I want feel to lame as shit going like, yeah, $1, $2 blinds. And you're talking to a guy who's like nodding along as he made his millions in that game. <laughs> it's like, I if mean, I was no. like, yeah, wait, Mr. Gretzky, before you continue, I played a I mean goalie <laughs> in street hockey. Yeah, it's, just, it's, like, <laughs> it's a good introduction. And, and, and frankly, everyone has to start somewhere, right? You know, unless you're from money, uh, you're going to have to start playing at the low stakes. Like that's kind of the standard journey that everyone goes on when they play poker. They start at the low stakes, move on up, find better games, try to improve, try and learn, try and, uh, you know, refine their skills. So, I mean, I, I think it's a cool story. It's a story that a lot of people have. They get involved in poker in some capacity, find a way to make money from it by, you know, outwitting the other players. And then that kind of leads them down the road to uh, other avenues uh, if they want to or stay in poker. But, um, yeah, it's a great How game, man. You, when you well, you're kind of you were really, really good at this. Like, were you really young when you figured out you're like outsmarting your, your dad and his friends or how'd that get going? There are some people that are much more like natural poker talents. I don't think I'm one of those guys. They're the guys who just, they put 10 bucks on and they just crush from the get go and they always really got it. I just generally outworked people. I'm not saying that I was bad at the game by any stretch uh, when I started playing, but uh, you know, I, I had a background kind of in video games and, and playing it and, at a competitive level in uh, this game called Warcraft three was the one that I played a lot of. So uh, I, I worked my way towards the top uh, in that game. And then someone was like, dude, you spend all these hours grinding video games for no reason. Like play poker, man. Like this is the clear play. So I was like, oh, that's gambling, right? You can't, you can't gamble. And then I looked it up and it's against people, not against the house. The house just takes a cut. So mm -hmm. I realized that by, you know, you can play this game against people and if you're better than them, you make money. And from that, like that moment right out of the gate, I was hooked. Just the fact that you could play strategy games for money against people. Um, that concept is, I mean, it's an amazing concept. It's so yeah. great that, that game exists. You know, you can't have this in chess. You can't have chess for high stakes, you know, high stakes chess, chess matches because you just know who's better. You each have an ELO rating, right? So you know your exact rating. And if you're an 1800 and that guy's a 1900, you're not going to be like, oh yeah, I'll bet you 50K. I'll bet you. No, you're not <laughs> yeah. going to do that. And, you, and correctly, correct me if I'm it. wrong here, but but like I've heard of, like, like I know guys who play chess. I don't play chess. I know the rules of chess, but I, I would never call myself a chess player. And I've played them online and I know <laughs> they're very good. Yeah. No, no, no. Well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a complex game. It's very difficult. And so uh, what I would do to troll them is I just set up an AI game and I'd, I'd mirror their movements and I, you know, play on very hard. And they're just like, this guy's a ridiculous. You just started playing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, 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 move. And I'm just, I'm just cheating. So, so I would think that that would be a, a concern if you were actually playing for money in chess, whereas poker, it seems. Oh, there was nothing you know, worse. I was yeah. in chess club in middle school and there was nothing worse than nice. the mirror move guy. The guy who just did exactly what you did. No, no, uh, no. That's not what I was doing, Taylor. Like I said, like I'm playing against a person on one window and on the other window i have an ai game going and i just oh so you I, just mimicked the moves of the good guy on yeah. a different game that's hilarious I, I, I take the good guy's moves and i throw them against a hard ai and now they're playing against the hard ass ai that they probably can't beat it's it's incredibly frustrating for them. when the good guy I, I actually think, beat you I were think, you like well it's all my guesses from here no that more never, moves that never happened <laughs> I think a lot of the the high end play, and I could be totally wrong because I'm not in the high end chess scene, but I, I bet you it has moved over to rapid games where it's just like two or three minute long games to to minimize people doing that because I don't think that idea is like a particularly crazy one, right? That you yeah. know you, you have another screen, you're inputting your opponent's moves to see what happens. So yeah, yeah, I imagine it shifted, but, but you know, poker poker is really great um, at masking your true ability. Because, like, let's just take, you know, the, the, the best example of poker is the main event, right? $10,000 buy-in, thousands of people play, the winner makes, like, 7 to $12 million, depending on which year you want it in. Crazy, crazy shit. 
Wait, the actual and, player and, makes that much? Yeah, yeah the player wins Jesus 7 Christ. to 12 million. Yeah. So you buy over 10,000 and you, and you win 7 to 12 million, depending on what year it is, basically, if you win the tournament. And so you look at those winners and you're like, man, thousands of players, like every year it probably gets like 7,000 ish, ent- 7, ish entries. That guy's got to be really good, right? No. That guy doesn't have to be good. There are many years that guy is terrible. There are many years that guy is like like maybe bottom 10% of the people. Maybe not bottom 10, but you know, mm-hmm. bottom 25% of people that even played that tournament. But you just can get lucky, man. It's you know, there's a lot of luck in poker. If we played poker, right, and your strategy every hand was I'm all in, and you just did that over and over again, I would only have something, you know, something between 55 to 70, 75% chance to beat you, depending on how many chips we had. So there's no way for me to just beat you every time. It's not like basketball, right? If, if you decide to take on LeBron and some one-on-one, you're going to win 0% of the time. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter how yeah, he's going to beat me at least six yeah. out of 10 times. He's going to shoot. <laughs> he's going to take the ball away from you, right? Like he, if he had one hand, you'd never win. It, does, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Poker is not like that. Really world-class players will lose to total scrubs quite often. And that's beautiful. Because that makes people want to actually play. They're willing to gamble money. They can win. You've always got a fighting shot in poker, no matter how bad you are. I always thought that when it said, like, I, I've never really watched poker, but, like, I'd see it on ESPN, like, during dinner, like, between other sports games, and it'd be like, so-and-so Ninganu in for 10, you know, could win 10 million. And I always thought, like, all right, there's clearly this dude in the baseball cap and glasses and the $6 Amazon t-shirt is not about to win 10 million. There's some chic or Saudi dude, or some Chinese guy who runs a big warehouse that's like backing all this. And this is like their hobby. Instead of buying a nice Arabian racehorse, this is what they do. I didn't know that it was actually the players winning all this shit. That's oh, the, insane. The players actually win. The, the players wow. actually win, yeah. But they have to fight a little harder than Naganu did in his last fight. But that, that's a little bit of a different story. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 I'm, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you caught that, yes. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, that's a fighter's name, isn't it? Yes, yeah, that's uh, uh, yeah. And Gano beats people up. Nugran you uh, plays play, plays poker. He's a Canadian fella. That was pretty close. Don't you? And, and, <laughs> right and, and, and I, 